We're at uh, Vendemia Vineyards, which is a Latin word for the word harvest or vintage. In uh, 1985, my wife and I, Gail, started California Dreamin', which is a hot air balloon company based in Southern California. And we started flying over the vineyards of Temecula in 1986. And as we were flying over the region, we wanted to explain to our customers and passengers the uh, varietals that we were flying over, um, the type of vineyards, and I had to do some research to understand that. And as I got interested in the research, I found myself being more interested in the farming practices, how the weather conditions affect harvest, uh, the fruit, and that information as I was explaining it to my customers was inspiring me to actually start my own vineyard and ultimately a winery. So once we got inspired, uh, we knew that we had to eventually purchase a piece of property and plant grapes, and that's what we see here. This is the Vendemia Vineyards and Winery. We have uh, Grenache, Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Zinfandel planted on the property. We're on uh, 10 acres with uh, six acres planted in uh, grapevines. We have another acre of olive trees over here, and uh, we also have some lavender. We are uh, using the olive oil to make virginous olive oil. We have a pressing that we do uh, each November, and then uh, we use the lavender throughout the uh, bed and breakfast that we have on property and in the winery. So this is uh, our two room bed and breakfast that we have on property. People can uh, come here and do the ballooning in the morning, uh, stay with us if they're coming out of Los Angeles or San Diego, and then also visit the winery for wine tasting, go to the events here in the Temecula Valley. So it's really kind of a family thing. You get to actually experience the winery with us and our family here on property. So this is our uh, rose garden. We have uh, breakfast here after our balloon rides. And it's also an area that if folks want to bring a picnic lunch and buy a bottle of wine at the winery, they can enjoy it up here in this setting. It's very relaxing, uh, cool in the evenings, and uh, kind of makes for a very outdoor, picturesque time. So this is our uh, wine tent. You may be asking why a tent. Um, we started as a very small business, and we're growing into uh, building two new buildings. But temporarily, we needed a place to taste our wines because we had releases from 2004, 5, and 6, and they were ready to be consumed. And so we've actually erected this tent on the site of our permanent foundation, and we'll be taking the tent down in the next several months and actually building our first uh, tasting room here. So we're really excited to go from our Bedouin tent to our first building. All right, what we have here exhibited here in these four glasses is actually the, what the influence of oak will actually have on the wines. Um, in these three glasses right here, actually, this is French oak influencing um, what we're using as water um, to mimic wine. Um, and on this one here is American oak, um, which is what we've used in our seven varietals that we currently offer here in the, in the tasting room. And the bouquet that you get here, at least that I get here off of the French oak, um, is, a, is a real distinct vanilliness, but also a, a caramelized um, accent that you get from it. Yeah, the, uh, the color and the texture too shows you something in the water, but that uh, smokiness we call toast. So what you've detected is either uh, a, a medium toast or a medium plus toast or uh, a heavy toast. And that's a characteristic when we're purchasing barrels that we look for because that's going to depart the characteristic that you're detecting in the wine. Our um, rosé is actually lightly oaked on American oak just for about uh, three months. And then our um, Zinfandel, which was also done in 2007 on American oak, uh, was for one year. And so you really detect the notes, uh, the difference between these two. Let's try this one. This is our 2008 uh, Grenache here, which you can be seen in these vines right behind me. The lighter colored vines here uh, are 2008 Grenache. Um, further down, we have our Cabernet, which will be released here in the next few months on French oak, which we'll be using. Um, further down, we have our Syrah, and then our Zinfandel, 2007 Zinfandel, which is shown right here, which we aged on American oak. These are the uh, varietals that we currently offer here at Vendemia. Our uh, Zinfandel, which is on the far right, is our most award-winning wine. We've gotten over 12 medals from around the country. It's been very well received as a lower alcohol wine. And we actually have uh, our newest label. We've uh, been working with our customers here in the winery to help us choose uh, both the label co color and uh, the fact that we're working on sustainability. We're going to actually include that on the winery label. 